Hey guys, if any of you are easily offended by opinions, then this video isn't going to be for you. Also, I know some of you might call me a white knight cuck suck up for making this video, but it's okay. You'll forget that you hate me in about two weeks like usual anyway. Go on. No, go on. <laughs> I could tell you all about player harassment, but you already know what that's like. So let me get right into it. Nah, that's my line, dude. So the current popular trend on Reddit right now is to complain. This isn't anything new, but the current topic is complaining about player harassment. So I'm going to tell you guys why I think everyone is lying. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to actually fake this information and pretend like you were actually banned, whereas you were not banned. So first of all, there's no player called Get Me a CX, is there? But right here it says I'm logged into my account, Get Me a CX. Well, I don't have an account called Get Me a CX because it doesn't exist. All I had to do was go to an account with an offense, inspect element, and change the words to fit whatever topic I needed to conform to. I even managed to commit this offense in the future, 2020. So here, you go back to your offenses, and look, I'm gonna hide everything else, but I am nowhere near banned. There is nothing about my account that is anything banned. But if I really wanted to, once again, you can just right click, inspect element, you get this all the way up there, and you get the bar to full. And look, simply from inspecting element, I can make my band go from full to nothing. Now I'm not banned. Oh wait, the bar's still there. One second, let's get the bar out of there. And we don't want the bar in there. We're going to make this zero. So now I'm not banned. See, I'm so not banned that I am past the ban bar. Do you see how easy it is to fake a ban and to fake this? Look. It doesn't matter if I made this a GIF, it doesn't matter if I made this anything, it's very, very easy to fake these bands, it's ridiculous. And look, just to prove a point, I could just change this too, but get me a CX, see, here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna change my name. Now I am, uh, I'm a friend, that's my new name now, see, a friend, and you gotta just change every single layer. Oh look, I'm a friend now, and a friend, guess what, you're now banned, alright, that sucks, sucks to suck a friend, sorry. Most of the people that actually make this stuff up, more often than not, are lying to you because we have no idea what happened in this actual instance. We don't know if this is even fake or not, if this guy is actually banned. The entirety of what we are supposed to be going off of is this guy's word that he was banned for barraging streamers doing clue scrolls. He's going off of the fact that he's a max main that spent two years making my account and his bank is worth approximately 2.3 billion. You guys can't really see that, but uh, it's on the other side of the screen where I'm not recording. So, him saying this does not even add anything to the situation that even matters, but he could have been lying about this. We don't know the entirety of this situation, and the fact that this has 201 uh, points and 219 votes in total, the fact that this many people will blindly believe this guy just because the hype train and the hate train is going right now is absurd. And then you have people like this guy backing him up. Now, I've seen videos like this so many times, but when I actually need to make a video on it, of course I can't find it, so if you guys uh, don't believe me for my word, that's fine. Here's at least one piece of proof that Iron Men get harassed all the time, so uh, I'm not going to give you guys my opinion on whether or not Iron Men should be harassed or not, but what that guy did right there was just run in and attack Corp, so the Iron Man did not do 100% damage and then he does not get the drop, so he wasted his time essentially doing that. Now streamers like Sig and other Iron Men do this all the time. What? Get out of here. It's not just the biggest streamers too, but it's actually the small streamers as well. I can't actually find clips of them, so if you guys don't believe me, I understand it, that's fine, but streamers get harassed all the time. It's not just one type of streamer. So as of right now in this clip, this person is being crashed with a cannon and then ropes. But one thing that I actually saw that was really interesting to me is... And then about 40 minutes later in the VOD, he's found doing the exact same thing. It's the same guy. This guy has been known to do this to this person for a very long time. They're even poking fun at this saying, can I get banned for this? And then obviously, what's that name right there? Same exact guy. And also, who got banned? Oh look, same exact guy. Banned for PBMing with uh, Emily's Pro CX. But no, obviously not. This person has been doing this for a very long time. So if people have been proven to continually do this, then why are people upset by this? This is all this guy does is harass people. There have been many, many different occasions where I've seen this person harassing that streamer as well as other streamers. There's occasions where I see people harassing Iron Men on stream where they're just doing corp and they just go and hit him once. And then there's other people that get told to go drink bleach and die when they're PKing. I don't care that people do this. 
people are always going to do this. It's not anything new. It's not something to really get too upset about. And at this point, it's people just trying to seek attention or whatever it might be. And I get that. That's fine. People are always going to do this. And a little bit of banter every now and then, it's fun. But when people actually get banned for it, they end up crying and then trying to make Jagex look like a bunch of assholes. Like, that's ridiculous. So this was a thread that went really big on the 2007 Scape subreddit. It had 1,520 votes on it. And it was uh, upvoted at about 760 points. Worst spot ever, my alternative woodcutting account just got permanently banned for macroing. I have never bought it on the account, but have no way of appealing. So I am reaching out to you to seek help. And then he posted all of this proof. Everyone believed him. All this proof. And this guy has uh, always posted on Reddit. There's like a lot of proof here. You guys can just see. I'm not going to click on all these things. Top comment. Mod Matt K. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to everyone, but he was botting. Before he actually commented, so many people were pissed off at Jagex. There were so many people, I can't freaking name it. This is not a diamond in the rough. This is a dime a dozen post like this because there's been many threads on botting sites that actually direct people to go to the 2007 Scape subreddit, post as much proof as possible that you are not a bot, and then just try and get your account appealed. When Mod Matt K or another member always comes in and just says, you were caught botting. So I'm going to show you two posts that my friend found from botting websites. My friend James is actually the one that found these screenshots, so uh, shout out to James. And they both pretty much say that all you should do is just try to social engineer them or manipulate Jagex into thinking that you were not wrong or you're apologizing or whatever it might be. So what people do is they try and go onto the 2007 Scape subreddit because I can't actually find the specific thread, but I remember seeing it a while ago. But they get people to go onto there and get the hive mind to think that they were not actually botting and that Jagex is at fault because it is so easy to blame Jagex, obviously. Jagex has had a lot of issues in the past and they still continue to make issues just like any company really does. But uh, people hold them to a very negative light for that, and it's really not fair. So people will try and abuse this. People try and take advantage of this situation by doing something like, what do I need from you? Uh, as much information to actually prove as possible that you are innocent. So then there's something like this as well, where recently I was perm banned for macroing on my main. Don't know how it happened. However, it's not worth just sitting and watching it. I know the various luck on this is like blah, 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 blah to get it sorted, but I'm willing to pay one bill or 1k US dollars to whoever can get my account unbanned. So people try to manipulate the system all the time. They are always trying to do this. This is just two examples of posts. This is not something random. People try and abuse this system all the time by lying. So why am I even telling you guys this? It's because people like to get behind this idea that they did nothing wrong or if they did something wrong that they can get out of it just by blaming Jagex and it's ridiculous. I don't care if people harass me because it happens all the time. I don't care if they harass other streamers. I don't really care because at the end of the day, it's the internet. I get it. People are always going to harass you. That's just what happens. I'm not trying to say everyone needs to stop harassing people because it's mean and wrong because no, that's the internet. That's how people get their frustrations out. That's how they have a good time, whatever. I'm not going to say it's wrong to do that because I'm not going to give my opinion on it. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But what people need to realize is that these people are doing this to get their accounts unbanned. They most of the time are lying. In some circumstances, Jagex does make a mistake and then they try to make sure that when they do make mistakes, that people know that they made a mistake, but they owned up to it. So the point being is they're trying to build credibility. And when people are doing something like botting and getting their accounts banned and then complaining and making a big deal about it, or if they are harassing streamers and they get banned for it, and then they lie about it, it's not building a good reputation for anyone. The reason why this is bad is because people think that they are going to get banned if they try and interact with streamers. They think that they're going to get falsely banned for no reason. And all of these lies that people just perpetuate just make people afraid of playing RuneScape. They make people afraid that their account is going to be banned when it is not the case. That's not going to happen. Listen, overall, I have been playing this game for a very long time, and I have been doing YouTube for quite a while. And I understand how the curvature of harassment goes. It comes in waves, and when people do something quote-unquote wrong or they aren't well-liked, everyone is just going to jump at the opportunity to make fun of them. I've done it before. 
it's just all in good fun. But if I were to get banned for it, obviously I know why I got banned for it. And I'm not going to sit there and bitch that I got banned for it because everyone does things for fun. Everyone harasses other people for fun because again, it's the internet. But when people do it and they get banned for it, don't think it's wrong. Don't expect that it's wrong because a lot of the times there's a lot of evidence built up against them that they actually did do something wrong. And they're not just going to ban someone the first time for harassing someone. They have to build up a profile of doing it to many different people or they have to do it to the same person over and over and over. There's a reason why they made this a rule in 2014. I don't make videos like this often, but every now and then I feel like I do need to make a video about this. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys don't agree with me, that's completely fine. It's just my opinion. I'm just trying to throw this out there because I want to just keep you guys informed or I want to give you guys my opinion on it. Other than that, there should be another video out tomorrow. And uh, by the way, I forgot that costed was not a word. But uh, I know it's cost. So thank you guys.